welcome back to my channel I hope you're doing well today we have an unboxing today and um, it is actually a bag so I know I said I'm not loud but I think we have renegotiated the terms a little bit as long as the bag is not crazy expensive um, then I am allowed to have limited amount so the terms are su not super clear but anyways uh, I'm happy to show you guys this bag and I think it's really cute but let me know if you guys think it's a bit redundant to some of my other pieces in my collection right now um, I can show you guys a few things that I feel like it's a little bit redundant to this bag but you can let me know and it is a purchase from 24s I'm pretty excited to show you guys and you guys if you look at my follow my channel at all you guys probably seen a few from 24s now um, they have these pretty packagings, you know, that comes with like their bouquetis and stuff. And let me just see if I can. So that's just their outer packaging and they have this beautiful white box. You can also pick the option to just have like, you know, a, a, a paper bag, I think, to be shipped to you. And it's a magnetic box. I'll just take out the receipt. They have the receipt on the cover of the box right here. And I did open it already, so that's the sticker. It is a little Balenciaga bag. And I have to say, this is actually my very first Balenciaga in my collection. I don't think... I may have owned a few pieces like years ago of some something, but I can't really remember. And yeah, so this is actually the first Balenciaga bag that I'm unboxing on my channel. Which is pretty exciting, I guess. Um... I have to say, I mean, I wasn't wowed by their overall like material and things like that. After, you know, um, I'm bossed quite a few uh, luxury bags now. I feel like there are certain expectation when it comes to dust bag and things like that. And this is a very thin kind of rough fabric that I'm not super into. But let me show you guys the bag. Ta-da! It is, that's right, it is the uh, extra small hourglass bag so this bag has been popular for quite some time now so it's fully brand new fully packaged take out all the stuffing for you guys the little hourglass bag and this bag um, I think I'm out about two three maybe longer than that. I could totally be wrong don't quote me on this maybe two three years at least I've seen it being popular the last two two years or so and I have always been like, I'm not super into Balenciaga, you know, it's not really like my thing. And then I feel like our mind always played tricks on us. Like it recently went up in price. So it had the regular price increases, which all the brands do. And for some reason, after the price increased, I kind of been looking for one. I know it's really weird, but... Um, and then when I was looking on 24S... Um, I realized that the listed price is actually quite a bit cheaper than the retail price. And I was like, oh, okay. Maybe, you know, this is my chance of actually seeing one up close. And I checked out number, like so many pictures of the hourglass bag, small versus extra small. I think the extra small actually works okay on my frame. And you guys can tell me if that's true or not. I don't think it's overly small and I actually like it better when it's um, crossbody when it's extra small because then it's not too bulky. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think it's kind of like it doesn't feel awkward with the handle and the size as a small bag and surprisingly it can actually hold a lot of things in here. Uh, I can, I'll do a very quick what can hold video as well as part of this. What do you guys think? I really like the crossbody uh, look. And of course the top handle is just adorable. And I think the top handle look is also very cute and very edgy. It's definitely one of those more edgier bag, right? Like it goes with like casual outfits. Um, it's not those like very ladylike bag. Um, and this one here, the one that I got, it's in the uh, uh, box calfskin. Uh, so it's, you know, very smooth and it's easy to be scratched. But this one is pristine, like there's nothing, no scratch on it. You know, everything is in its original condition, I think. Uh, which is good because 
um, sometimes from 24s you will get ones that were returned but very beautiful piece the hardware is actually in this aged gold plated hardware not in the shiny hardware which i love because i find that it, um the shiny one always kind of i don't know tarnish easier um so i love that about it as well so let me go get a few things and we can do a quick what fits in my bag video as part of this as well and yeah maybe i'll do a few comparison to like some of my other bags too for you guys i'll be right back okay so i'm back with a few things and a few bags that i feel like a little bit similar to this bag so you guys can help me decide if there is you know necessary for me to keep it so first of all i have this beautiful reissue mini which i feel like at least in the um, styling sense it's not quite similar this is a kind of crossbody bag but it is also black with aged gold wear the mini obviously doesn't have a top handle so you know it's a little bit different in that sense and i do feel like they don't quite go with the same outfit oh that's right baby but the one I was thinking actually kind of similar or reminds me of is actually my uh, little Chiquito bag. So I know the Chiquito bag doesn't hold anything in terms of comparison for capacity, but it is like sort of a black top handle bag with smooth leather, also has age hardware as well. It comes with a detachable strap. It just feels quite similar to me in terms of the look. I mean, I could be using either or bag if I'm like, you know, if I'm styling. So, and I personally like the Chiquito better. I just feel like it's it adds a little cuteness. It's a bit more unique. I mean, if I'm wearing something a little bit more like normal, the Chiquito give me a little bit more extra kind of special like uniqueness to it, I think. Like even right now, sorry, I'm going back and forth between the mirror and the camera. Even right now, I feel like I want to wear use the chiquito if i don't have to hold any um anything with me so that this is one of the bag i was thinking of and the other one is my bambino even though it's in the color white you can tell they are a little bit similar they both have a back pocket although this one probably can hold a little bit more not much more but it's it's uh throughout the entire back whereas the the Bandino can probably hold a couple of cards, which I've done quite a few review of it. I haven't really used this bag as much either, but again, I think they're really quite similar. Again, the, uh, the hourglass will win in terms of the capacity, but I feel like the overall look and the fact that they're all smooth leather with top handle, detachable strap, they are a little bit redundant. And the last bag I was thinking of in my collection that's bit of a comparable is the um the saddlebag again i feel like it just it's a similar kind of vibe that gives in some ways um this one obviously it's a grain calfskin which i love and it doesn't have a top handle but it kind of has a shorter strap which i tend to hold as a top handle in a way sorry my and Again, I feel like the days I'm wearing this hourglass bag, I can probably wear the saddle or the Chiquito bag if I have to. Um, let me know what you guys think. I think this one is definitely the most similar in some ways, so I'm very hesitant for that reason. And you guys know how much I love this guy and I use it often, so the only difference would be this will be able to hold a phone, no problem. On the days, if I don't have my blazer, if I have my blazer, the, the pocket of the blazer actually holds phone no problem. It's quite convenient. But if um, I'm wearing something like a sweater or pants with no pocket and it's just not easy to grab my phone, then I guess I need something slightly bigger. But I'll show you guys the capacity because I think it's quite impressive in terms of what it can carry. Oh, it does come with the original tags. I'll show you guys. So that's the original tags and the paper that came with it. Okay, so you can put a phone 
and no problem but this is a 10 so even with a 10 it does push the edge a little bit very slightly but barely and the same phone can go in here the bambino no problem as well but this can hold a lot more it can hold a extra card holder your key pouch you can probably hold the earphone the bottom there a lipstick and a hand cream and probably same size as a sanitizer and it's pretty packed at this point I don't feel like you can putting a lot more in here maybe another lip gloss or some kind of like eyeliner or something like that and it looks okay but you see tiny bit of bulging on this side don't know what this is from but it's not bad pretty much can hold nice and easy and close really well as well I think it's a bit of a hard call I mean obviously today I'm also dressed a little bit more formal so it doesn't quite it's not the nicest outfit to to pair with but I was in a rush so I kind of just put on whatever I can find um, I don't know but it's you know it's 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 a really nice piece. I may regret later on if, you know, I don't find it at this price again. And again, if you guys are looking for this bag, go ahead on to 24S and check out the price on the thing, especially if you're in Canada. They still have it in stock. Um, but, you know, like, given what I just showed you guys, let me know if you guys feel like I should still keep the bag, okay? Alright, so just review again what's in here. I have the card holder, the key pouch, a hand cream, not bad. A phone, iPhone 10, the ear pots, and a lip gloss, a uh, lipstick. And that's all. And it's nice. It's pretty, pretty um, spacious, I would say, for a mini bag. So, which is a good thing. The mechanism I didn't show you guys is a magnet, mag magnetic closure with a little flap at the top. Very similar closure to a lot of the Chiquito bags as well. Okay, so let me know if you guys want me to do a little bit more detailed review or comparison of this bag to another bag. I do have 30 days to think about it, so I am going to think about it. And hopefully you guys will help me out with your comments. And I will have more bag unboxings, I guess, coming up. So uh, hopefully you'll stick around and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!